In all seriousness, seriously, guys, we, we need to stop screwing around. You guys think this is a joke? I mean, you guys think that guy's a joke? No, this is real life. This Life is not a flipping joke, you guys. You guys think this is all just one big game? No, this is serious now. We're doing this. All right, we're going to have some flipping fun. So, this video is going to be MTG Unsealed. Anybody know who that is? He has his own YouTube channel. He is a big fan of me. And I'm going to let you guys know who the hell he is. He has his own YouTube channel. This dude, uh, link in the description below. <laughs> you can check him out afterwards. He is sponsoring and paying for this box. This is his box. He bought it. And uh, he didn't pay $8.95. I charged him more than that. He got hosed. So, a couple things everybody needs to know before we get into this fun time, pleasure, happy, happy climax here. Made in the USA, which means... Hold on. Can you guys hear it? Hold on. Wait, wait. Ready? You hear that? See, I can hear the cards. That means there's no inner seal. There's going to be no inner seal on these boxes. These starter decks, 12, not 10. Now you can come out. Okay. So we are literally going to have a full brick. This is a 12 starter deck box. Really? Clearly, I have problems, you guys. Sorry. And we're going for Lion's Eye Diamond, boys. And oh, there it is. That's it. He didn't want to use his own personal name or anything. We don't want to give out his identity. Come on, people. This isn't uh, politics or anything goofy like that. So, this is all about MTG Unsealed, his channel. And we're, we're going to open this beautiful, beautiful 90s. What year is this, does it say? Uh, is there a year? Anybody see it? 96! There she is. You know what the best part about Mirage boxes are? Not only do you get the 12 decks, but they have the best pop-up. Giggity. They have the best, largest statue that pops up. Huh, that's what she said. This thing is so big when it pops up. It's the best part about this stuff. Check it out. I want to show you guys. Yeah, you can, if you're in a hurry, this is not the video for you. I'm just going to have fun in this video. Look how big this thing sticks in the air. This thing sticks up so high... I know, right? And that, look at that! If that's not the best display for a store ever, look at that thing. That is the coolest display ever. So we're going to put her off to the side. Alright, so we get 12 decks. I always like starter decks better than I do actual booster boxes on these old sets. My reason for it is because you get more uncommons. I think you get like an extra two or three uncommons per starter. So it's equivalent to 36 rares, same as a booster box, but you get a few more uncommons and you get a ton of lands. Hear that? Ah. Eh. Not safe for work. All right, no inner seal. So I'm not expecting, how do you even, it's been so, man, I have not, it's the first time. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can savor the moment with me. Wow. Oh my god. It's like taking that clear wrapper off your new cell phone. Oh boy, that was great. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm going to put this to the side gently so I can reseal you guys' boxes and hose you guys in the future. All right, so anyways. Wow. Cool, man. All right, so again, here we are. Look, no inner seal. Very common. Again, made in USA product. So when you pull these cards out... All right, so we have a beautiful rule book. <laughs> crazy how thick and crazy those were. All right, so look at this. Okay, so we got a little, there's a slight warping on the card. Not really. Overall, very, very nice shape. Um, I don't know the order. <clears throat> if I recall correctly, I think some of them, the Belgium and USA ones are a little different. Okay, yeah, this one is going to be inverted from the ones I've seen. 
So in the back, we've got, okay, common cards in the back. All right, I'm trying to see what's what here. Um, side note, just so everybody knows, that's probably one of the most, this is the most expensive. These mountains, a lot of these cards, these basic lands, sell for between a dollar to dollar fifty a land all day. Holy crap, you hear that? Oh my god, you guys hear that? Anyway, so, so the, all these basic lands, again, okay, I think these are actually going to go right to the rares, so maybe we should try to, we're going to, anyways, I wanted to point out, if you are going to be opening or buying a starter bot, the reason these are five to $600 a box now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two basic lands on average, especially the Red Mountain, and there's also a Sunset Island. Have you guys seen that? I don't know if you guys have seen that before. That's not it. Ooh, those are nice. Where is it? Is it? No. There's an island. I don't think I got one. Oh, there it is. There it is. I got it. So the Sunset Island actually sells for $2 a pop. I've sold most of mine in the past. So again, 22 basic lands right out of the gate. This is probably around $25. So if you got 12 of these, $25 times 12 right out of the gate is already... Keep that in mind on the basic lands. These have extremely expensive basic lands. Well, five minutes in the video and I haven't even flipped and opened a pack. All right, so this first pack's going to be kind of a guinea pig. Reflect damage. Boy, I actually remember that. All right. Warping Worm. I'm Yeah, I'm actually pretty certain. Oh, my God. See, that's the thing. is Back in the day, people were so love-hate with phasing. I kind of liked it, but most people didn't because there was no benefit to phasing. It was it was looked at as a drawback and negative thing. All right. And Chaos Fear. I'm pretty sure, again, you guys can kill me in the comments and beat me up, but I'm pretty sure those first three are going to be the rares um, in this particular packaging. Now, I have seen it where it's inverted before, but this particular box... Is going to be that way. So we're going to put the three rares to the side. Let's move this off to the side here. We're going to get a little organized. So now we got uncommons. Remember, a ton, remember this set does have a lot of rares that are reserved list. We also have a lot of uncommons. <coughs> a lot of uncommons that are all the tutors, especially the enlightened tutor and what the green one. I've forgotten the names. Very pricey cards. And God, I remember those gnomes. Oh my God, I used to love that card. Oh, the ferrets, not even the meat cats. Mercat, Mercat. Cindercloud, Mind Ben, The Purge. Boys brings back flipping memories. Blight Shaman, The Guild Mage. And I think, I think, are we out of uncommons? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think these are our nine uncommons, or is it ten? Something like that. I'm going to kind of try to put those off to the side ish. I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are the commons now. Unfortunately, this is one of the sets. The commons, there is no major value for you guys. God, I remember playing with this. So phasing and flanking were the two big things. I remember, I used to love flanking. I thought that was the coolest thing. And then, of course, I also thought back in the day the charms were really good. It's kind of what I like to call Mag some of Magic's earliest choice cards. And um, there's a there was kind of a, a five set, one of each color charms in this. And I really liked it, but as time went on, ooh, look at that dark ritual art. Never really did a whole, like, God, that's gorgeous. Oh, my God terrible card <laughs> the reality ripper i think yeah it's no, it's kind of like a twiddle but instead you phase it out yeah all right blistering barrier boomerang God, they, i didn't even know that was in the set disempower ah uh, dark banishing that was a bit i think that was also an ice age card flare Oop, i dropped the common flare all right so there's nothing really amazing i'm not going to go through all the commons and all the deck i just want to mostly show you guys you know torch one of the typical x powers sim similar to what disintegrates and firebolt firebolts fireballs you know, nothing crazy. So those are the basic commons. Um, I hopefully I don't mix up the order too bad. <laughs> um, this video is probably going to run a little long. I'm not really too concerned about it because this is just something that I'm probably never going to do again on this channel. Oh my god, I can't even get these things. Look at these tags. Can we even? I might have to get the box cutter. I don't even think this. The gold. There we go. God, that's the best feeling in the world. Well, top th top three best feelings in the world. All right, so again, we're going to try, and again, you know, we could even get a Lion's Eye Diamond, you guys, but I'm not going to hold my breath to it. Keep that in mind. Uh, should we do like a slow roll? So now that we know the rares are on that, oh wait, no, sorry. All right, 22 more basic lands. Oh, we don't want to give it away too easily. All right, 20, God, there's so many basic lands. All right, so Torn of Lava is our first rare. Boy, that's beautiful. 
Ah, the Scale Bane. Circle of Despair. Those, I think those are our three rares, nothing crazy. All right, Uncommon Land, here we go. Fallow Earth. Uh, mine Harness. Whoa, look at that. I used to play with the Firewalker. Shows how terrible I was as a player. Hello. God, I haven't seen that art in forever. I can't even believe Wizards approved stuff like that back then. It's like the Invoke uh, Prejustice, Invoke Prejudice card. Some of the art back in the day, I cannot believe they even approved. Blind Fury. Okay, so those are all the comments. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention. Where'd the uncommons end? I think like right here. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think, what, nine? Those are the nine uncommons, I think. Ah, oh, Disenchant. Look at that old artwork. That is a cool artwork, man. All right, any weird comments? Again, I don't think there's any really good heavy hit in comic. That, that cracks me up. Look at that picture. Look at that guy's face in the back. All right. So I don't think there's anything major. Oh, there's the blue charm, just in case anybody was curious. Drain life was in this. Oh, there's another red charm, chaos charm. And I think that's about it. The elder. God, look at somebody drew that. It's crazy, isn't it? All right. So again, like I said, nothing crazy on a lot of these. But man, it's just so much fun to open this stuff. Like, I just want you guys to experience this with me. It's just like, man... Listen, to that. no inner seal. Yes, they actually had starters back in the day with no inner seals, people. All right, so again, let's take a rule book. All right, so we're out of the gate. Let's get all our lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, Tika's Dragon. Man, that used to be a hit back in the day. Hang on a second, you guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on, hold on. Serious moment. Everybody pause. Hold on, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, Tika's... Tika's Dragon. Seven fifty for Tika's Dragon? Oh my god! You know this has got to be accurate. You know this is accurate. Alright, so I'm going to offer it all to everybody and all my patrons for uh, $7 for Tika's Dragon. <laughs> Purgatory. Boy, that's a card I haven't seen in ages. Anybody even know what that is? And... The Golden Feather. See, the Legends and like the, the Griffins and that kind of theme was a really big deal back then, but it never really got traction, never really took off. People never really made tribal and themes with that stuff. Uh, let's see what kind of uncommon. Someone's get some. Oh, I used to play with that Blessing card. I remember that. Lead and Gold. Hey, look at that. Our first tutor, Worldly Tutor. There's a $10 bill. Hey, the, by the way, a lot of these Bad River, these uncommon cards are all like $2 a piece now. Anybody knows he's like 150, even TCG players, like 175 for pack fresh ones now. But that was quite interesting. Crap, I'm not paying attention to the uncommons now. All right, I think I could be slightly off. Uh, here's all our commons, but I think. Again, nothing really crazy. Oh, there's another charm. Goblin Tinker. I remember that. Destroys an artifact. Remember that? It's kind of like a knockoff. Anyways, I don't know. Cobra Taurus. Oh, no, there's the green charm. Seedling. Alright. God, choking Sands. I think this is like one of the better commons in the set. And even then, I think it's like a quarter. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is zero value in the common slot. There's just no way around it, you guys. Man, this is... I can't even focus. I'm just so excited to do this right now. Look at my hand. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I'm so flipping pumped to do this. I forgot about all the dragon cards. Isn't there... I remember, like, the dragon cards were a big deal. Like, the Grinning Totem. Wasn't Grinning Totem in the set? I don't know if anybody remembers. One, two, three, four, five, six. God, look at the, look at the zebras. I never noticed there were zebras on that. That's really cool. I never noticed that. All right. Here we go. Oh, Subterranean Spirit. I actually remember that card. I actually used to play with this. I used to think it was the coolest thing ever. Actually, I think I just like the art. All right. Uh, ancestral Memories. Anybody remember that? I thought that was... I always had a potential. Anything Ancestral, everyone's like, what? Ancestral? Is this the new Ancestral Recall? Oh, the, the Jin? It's a terrible rare. All right. Come on. That's how I feel right now. I feel like these guys. I'm that little box in the back right there. That angry toaster. That's how I feel right now. All right. Oh, another De Jin, really? Flooded Plain? Actually, I think the Flood Plain is actually like a buck or two now. I remember some of these have actually been going up. I don't know if anybody noticed that. <laughs> these elves. You guys remember these elves? Alright. I think the rest are all commons. And again, nothing really crazy. Well, that's cool. I like that artwork. That is really neat. Alright. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Alright. 
Moving on. So I think we're about halfway through the box. Definitely a little bit one of my longer videos for box opening. But again, I've never opened a starter box on this channel. And if you guys keep in mind, if you check the link out, MTG Unsealed, who actually bought this box, he's one of my patrons, um, he actually opened a starter box on his channel also. Again, link in the description, check it out for you guys. And uh, again, these are long videos because it's just, to go through it all, it's, it's, it's just a whole experience, man. Alright, come on, let's do something big. Oh my god, natural balance. Back in the day, that was considered, oh my god, is that still, hang on, hang on. Hang on a second, hold on. Natural balance. Where are we at, kids? Wait a minute. Natural. Five dollar rare? That's it? Oh, that's crap. Yeah, volcanic. Island. Yeah. Man, I thought for sure that was going to be a big hit. I mean, those prices are only 20 years outdated. It's got to be flipping accurate. All right, here we go. Natural balance. Oh, God, I saw the artifact. Bone mask. Oh, infernal contract. Oh, I love that card. Oh my god, I used to love that card, man. Oh man. It's like a new contract from below, except way more terrible. Alright, let's go to Uncommons. Volcanic Geyser. Alright, Blinding Light. The Golem again. Jungle Troll. Favorable Destiny. That was a cool card. Vampire. Still trying to make vampires a thing. Beasting. Oh, I think that's it. These are in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. All right, nothing. God, I want. I, God, I'm so hoping to get a lion's eye diamond in this. The problem is, I don't know if anybody knows this or not. Mirage is a flipping huge set, you guys. Mirage has like 110 rares, 110 uncommons, I think, and like 110 commons. Does anybody remember that? These sets were massive, massive back in the day. So I don't even know if you guys remember how monstrous this thing was. All right, here we go. Put all our money in lands. We got another dragon, because, you know, dragons were a thing back then. Catacomb dragon. These were supposed to be, like, a big thing. I don't know if they really are. Ah, uh, energy vortex. Oh. Uh, not the bottle. Anybody remember that card? That was the weirdest card. Ooh, floodplain. That was nice one coming. All right. Oh, Hello. All right, nice, nice little round of uncommons. You got a tutor and a floodplain, and of course the commons. Nothing hiding. They're weird, right? No miss sorting or anything from the factory. Nothing I need to know about, huh? All right, just checking. I always get a little. All right, so we are halfway past halfway through the box now. Um, like I said, I, I want to get like a crazy like lion's eye on camera type thing, but again, to be honest with you guys, 110 rare set. We're only getting 36 rares. The odds aren't even in our favor at all. Oh, look at that Sunset Island. Oh, man, that's nice. All right. Let's get through all our money cards. I know, right? Ooh! Oh, God, that Crimson Hellkite. Oh, man, pause. Crimson Hellkite. This was the heavy hitter. Let's see here. Where's my Where's my man Crimson Hellkite? 10.50 for a Crimson Hellkite. Right there at the top. Oh, man, we just hit it big. We hit it big. I'm going to offer this card to my patrons for $9.99. Ah, oh, old school magic. How I miss ye. Walk, hold hands and walk in the park. Soul Echo, that's crap. Anybody remember that card? Such a weird, stupid card. Oh, a gargoyle. I don't even remember that card. Three mana, two, two flying. Gonna get minus two, plus two, lose. That's, that's terrible. Ah, those were rares. God, some of the magic printed the weirdest shit back then. <laughs> oh my god, the diamond cards. Do you guys remember those? Rocky Tar Pit. All those actually are starting to become something nowadays, right? I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Alright, and that's me when I run outside in the middle of the night. Alright, all our commons, nothing crazy. Make sure we got no miss sorts or anything bizarre we're going to miss out on. Alright. Alright, oh boy. Dude, I am wound up. I am, like, sweating, and I'm just, like, freaking out right now. Like, I can't, and that's why I'm not even wearing clothes. Like, if I was wearing clothes, this video would get pulled if I was, the camera was on me, because I have nothing on. I'm just so pumped right now. All right, here we go. God, we got, I, God, I want to hit Lion's Eye so bad for you guys. All right. Oh, man, there's another hit. A long time ago, Bizarre Wonders. 
God, it's amazing to me how many cards were nostalgic and amazing and powerful and important at the time. And now we fast forward all these years later, and it's just like nobody knows what they are. They're dumb. They're terrible. Barreling attack. The Holy Avenger. That's not the legend we want to see. All right. Uncommons. No. That's garbage. Anything good? Man, I just... And by the way, if anybody ever has the opportunity or sees these cards in person or anything, uh, we got three left, you guys. Um, something I really want to point out is Mirage cards smell different. The ink that was used in Mirage had a very distinctive, grittier feel and smell when they came out compared to prior Magic sets. That was something that was always a really big deal that I don't think a lot of people remember. If you didn't play it back then, obviously you wouldn't know, but... God, that mountain is amazing. Come on! Come on, big money, no whammies, kids. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, the hammer. Pause. Oh my god. Let's see here, Mirage. Oh, hammer, a big... Oh my god, $13, highlighted in pink. The card is going up in value. Look, look, look. Went up in value. Oh my god, there's hammer. And actually, I think on top of that... You guys need to know this. It's very important for you all to finish out your day. Look, 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 look. It's on the top. Look. Number nine, top ten hottest card. Oh, man, this is serious. We just hit it big, guys. Oh, boy. I'm out of breath. Hang on. I got to relax a second. I can't believe we just hit the hammer. Oh, man. The renewable lightning bolt, as everybody used to call it. And then everybody realized it sucked. Okay, anyways. Oh, Spectral Guardian. Oh. The Bloom? The MF and Bloom? God. The Bad River and the Basic Land is worth more. Alright, alright. Commons of nothingness. Final three. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it, you guys? I'm nervous. I, I'm, just, I'm honestly afraid that we're not going to hit the lion's eye. We've got a couple good worldly tutors, though. I mean, I can't really disagree with that. That's pretty That's pretty badass, man. All right. Look at all these amazing lands. God, these lands are worth more than everything. All right. Here we go. All right. Lure Weaver, our first rare. Eh. Ah, the Grim Feast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh, God, I saw... Jeez, holy crap, I sold the artifact. God, these different Sky Diamond, Moss Diamond, and these, these Diamond cards were such a big deal back in the day. Alright, and all the commons. Alright. Alright, final two decks, you guys. Man, this has been, this has been wild. Final... Two decks. Here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? Come on. Canopy Dragon! God, that was not even a good dragon back in the day. The... It, remove... <sighs> the Avenger again? Come on! Flame Elemental. Oh! Mystical, hello! Not too bad. All right, last deck, you guys. Uh oh, hope my camera doesn't mess up. Can you guys see okay? Oh, I'm getting worried. The camera is making a beep noise. Oh, I'm gonna hold it. I don't want it to screw up. Let me make sure. Oh crap. Are we okay? Are you guys still with me? Are you guys still with me? Holy crap. Are you guys there? Okay. I'm like, I'm on the last flipping box. Okay, I think it's okay. Alright. Whew, I got scared. I thought I was going to lose the video. I was about to freak out, you guys. Alright, okay. Here we go. Our last pack. Come on! The Pearl Dragon? Son of a biscuit stick. Oh, oh my god, the illicit auction. Dude, they would never, ever paint a card like this nowadays. 
Here we are. This is it. It's not an artifact. The spirit. 4 2 2. End of a partner's turn. 1 1 counter. Each damage dealt to you this turn. Alright. Oh, grasslands. That's not bad. That's it, kids. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Mr. MTG Unseal, I thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to film this and do this video. I really appreciate it. This video was a lot of fun to make, you guys. I absolutely love making this. Thank you very much. Check out the guy's channel. Link is in the description below. He's the only reason we got to see and enjoy this awesome experience. It's the only reason I got to poke up this high from the box. So, again, I really appreciate everything. I hope you guys just had a blast with this video because I had a ton of fun making it. And other than that, thank you and you guys have a great day.